Hey everybody, welcome to the ZabeCast, brought to you by Line in Kugels. Get your lineys today and enjoy the good stuff from Chippewa Falls. Scott Lynn, Al Galdi, Lodef Solomon. Today there was an email to Scott that was disturbing. How so? It said, is that really a picture of Galdi standing next to... Oh, this was to... actually an email to Solly. Yes. Is that really a picture of Galdi standing next to Scotty on that opening segment? Of the podcast. A, a caller, the, actually, not an email. Cast. Caller, I'm sorry. He called in for our, this might be a dumb question on uh, yeah. our Fox he said, show. He said, this might, he said, is that really Galdi? Because I thought he was a 64-year-old black, black man. man. <laughs> yes, he thought you were an older black gentleman. <laughs> well, I, I too have struggled, but, but maybe not not as much. But, uh, I heard Galdi before I even started working here and... What'd you picture him as? I, I saw. I thought of him as an older man, and he was only like twenty, twenty-one at the time. Well, how did you get such deep, mellifluous pipes? It's the eighth testicle, right? Uh, yeah, it's it's the you Joel Myers like. Yeah, yeah, no, I wish most people that have pipes like yours like have chimney. to smoke like a chimney. Yeah, you for don't. Decades. You don't, and never have. Oh, thank you. That's you should good. start smoking. Golly. So see you, what that would do to the voice. How'd you get such a deep voice, my friend? Uh, you know, it's just. Do you know the God's uh, gift? I guess. You know. I guess so. Your, your father have a deep voice? Not your brother. Your brother doesn't. Not particularly. No. no. It's, no. It's, His you know, sister does, which is really who weird. Has, really deep voice. Who has the deepest voices? Who has the deepest voice in recorded history? James Earl Jones. John Facenda. John Facenda. Would it be the uh, guy that does all the movie theater promos in a world that time Don forgot. Don LaFontaine? Yeah, Is that yeah, Don LaFontaine? He, oh, he's dead, dead now. now. Oh, dead now. Yeah. The great Don LaFontaine. That's the, the Geico commercial guy, yeah. Callus. You have to throw him in there, right? Yeah, Callus. Callus, Callus, Callus is, not, is pretty deep. Imus is pretty the deep, The guy too. that does the UFC commercials, Galdi. Yes. He's really yeah. deep. Yes. UFC 104, right. only on pay-per-view. Yes. A lot of these guys are processed, too, though. That's through, true. Through the yeah, like the, the guy that used to do our imaging here years ago. Uh, Matt Anthony? No, Scotty Webb. Like, his, his, real, his real voice was kind of like this, and in real life he kind of talked like this, but when he did the radio, he was it. all deep like all this. All deep like and this. And he this. really yeah. affected his voice, which it was cool sounding, but his real voice was well, way there's, different. Well, there's good deep and there's cheesy deep. He had, and, a, he had a cool uh, cool voice yeah, well, when I he made his, it deep. I thought his production was cheesy. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because really... I remember hearing that this guy was the greatest guy ever from certain people. Yeah, he was sold by management as yeah. brilliant and cutting edge. And if you guys don't like his promos, right, something wrong with something you. Something wrong You're with you. Idiots, cause... Yeah, because we brought up in an all-staff meeting. Yeah, these promos really, yeah, I don't know. They're kind of the... weird. They're, they were, he were really <laughs> yeah. weird sometimes. Yeah. But he, I thought he was cool. They, they were as weird as the Mr. Plow commercial <laughs> that Homer paid for that he didn't understand. Remember? Yeah. What was that one where it was like uh, the operatic singer... <laughs> and uh, remember what was uh, Simpsons reference? Uh, I forget the commercial, but it was yeah. it was really weird. Yeah, I didn't really get well, it. Well, Homer had his own jingle. Yeah, we, we, Mr. we Plow. said that's, that's your name. Say it again. That yes, name Mr. again is Mr. Mr. Plow. Plow. Mr. Plow. You, you, you can't his, beat uh, us. Call five 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 Plow. Yeah. <laughs> Put on the uh, jacket with just his underwear. See, I did see an episode. Our <laughs> suggestion of promos were simple. Like, why don't you just take good funny clips right. from our sports shows <laughs> right. and say, tune in. To the sports jaw at four. Well, promo yeah. ideas from different program directors are so varied. Like, you know, what you, what you actually want to do is promote certain shows. We promote stuff that doesn't need promoting sometimes, which I don't understand. Yeah, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. It's the lovely world of radio instead of making it like some, you know, mid-70s Italian horror film. How do you like, know we... blood? How do you know we promote things that don't need... Well, I don't promoting. want to uh, rip uh, okay. you know, certain things. <laughs> oh, but no. there are certain things you think are, are already overpromoted. Yeah, like the um, Redskins suck. We know. We don't have to point it out in every promo. We, we know they suck, and it's not going to help us get new listeners promoting that okay. they suck. Okay. Well, Coca-Cola still advertises. I know. McDonald's still advertises. Who has not heard of those two companies? That's a good point. Why do they do that? Because they got to keep you going back. Brand awareness. But if there's uh, Coke Zero, you want to tell people about that, too. Taste infringement. And those are funny. Hey, I'm going to turn around. Why don't you pull the knife out of my back? The Coke Zero spot with the cubicles. When Coke Zero came out, I thought it was a game changer. I thought, my God, they've done it. It tastes just like regular Coke. It's not bad. It it isn't. And then then after about two weeks, I'm like, no. It, Not having it, is, is and it, is it you who said curly fries? Yes, the place? same yeah. same dynamic. <laughs> I said right, that yeah. curly fry is better than regular fries. I, I agree with you. On More that. surface they're thicker, area. They're crunchier. Yeah. They're greasier. No, didn't didn't take over. 
All right, thanks for listening. I don't know where this one went. No Food, word. kitchen, <laughs> random. It doesn't matter. See you next time.